Aloha, everybody. Thank you for being with us tonight. On this day 30 years ago, Hurricane Iniki pummeled the island of Kauai. It remains the most powerful storm to hit our islands in recorded history. For folks on the Garden Isle, they remember it just like it was yesterday. Max Rodriguez has more. For many, Hurricane Iniki is remembered as a day that took an unexpected turn. Iniki was not forecasted to hit the islands, but the hurricane changing its course and traveling north, directly impacting Kauai and touching down as a Category 4 storm on September 11, 1992. What I remember was, of course, the siren that went off, and um, we didn't have much time to prepare. Edie Ignacio knew Miller, her daughter, and neighbors sheltered at a college building. She remembers the loud sounds from the 140 mile per hour winds. I remember seeing a lot of debris swirling around in the air. Maybe it was a combination of the wind and the rain that we heard uh, peeking through the jealousies. The following morning, New Miller says the sun was out bright and it was very humid. All they could hope for was that their homes to still be standing. New Miller and her neighbors were part of the lucky ones. We both at our houses had our roofs. Their, their house sustained some damages, broken glass. Six people killed as a result of Hurricane Iniki and cost more than $3 billion in damage. The strongest and most destructive hurricane to ever hit the state. We are right in the middle of hurricane season. The National Weather Service says it's been a slower year with two to four tropical cyclones in the Pacific this year. But they continue to remind the importance of having an emergency plan and kit. It really does only take one. Uh, if we had one, one system that became active and impacted the islands, that would be significant. So we really want to, we want to drive home to people that it's important to have a hurricane plan before the season starts. New Miller still has a t-shirt people in the community made as they rebuilt 30 years ago and says she has not taken hurricane forecasts lightly after living through Iniki. And now the weather reports, I mean, we're glued when we know that there's a um, hurricane coming our way and what the strength is, you know. Max Rodriguez, KHO2 News, working 